Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And it is almost Thanksgiving. And mashed potato day. Woohoo! Yes, and we, my mom is the master of mashed potatoes. Um, oh my gosh, I don't have the right page yet. Um, but she is going to take it away. So, I've got about six. Yukon Gold are the best mashed potatoes because the skin is thin. Pardon so me, I found the page. If you're with us, it's on page 138 in the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. Does that say mashed potatoes? Oh, yeah. It says good garlicky All mashed right. potatoes. Good. And I am going to cut these potatoes in small pieces. And the reason is that it, Jane, would you help, please? Yep. Because it, it gets it to, to cook faster. And the coolest thing about cooking, boiling mashed potatoes is that you, I spilled, <laughs> I dropped one, is you've got to start them in, the, in not in boiling water because if you start them in boiling water, they cook from the outside, the, the outside gets cooked first so they're not all the way through evenly. So start them in. So the outside gets a little fuzzy? I've yeah. done that, I've done that. So the outside's kind of fuzzy and yeah. inside's firm. And so the smaller pieces, the quicker they'll cook. And I would say, it takes, oh, maybe 20 minutes. I keep tasting the potatoes as I go along to see. If, I mean, they just have to be soft enough so that when you So our recipe says that it mash starts, them, you start with mash. six medium mashed potatoes, but we probably end with five and a third potatoes with our recipe because she tastes so many from the pot as they're yeah. cooking. Well, so yes. I am going to put all these potatoes into the pot and there's water in here and I want to have them covered so that they all get cooked but you don't need tons we got probably more water in here than we, I'm going to dump a little water out all right and here they go on the stove maybe somewhere between 17 and 20 minutes but taste them at 15 to see what's happening yours may Do be cut covered? smaller cover them yeah and while we're waiting for them to boil, what will we do, Jane? Well, I think we should do some pull-ups, some push-ups, or some jumping jacks. Oh, we'll do just we'll against some push the, some push-ups against the counter. We have a quick announcement to make, actually three announcements. First one is, you're all invited to Well Now Camp. Jane has well that special way of now. saying Well Now. Say it, say it the way you Everyone say it. Everyone has a great way. Well Now. Well Now. Well Now. And it is really fun. And this <clears throat> camp is for plant-based women warriors or people who want to just try for the, you know, those four days to be a plant-based woman warrior. But the camp is June 4th to 7th and we have an early bird discount that lasts until <laughs> December 31st. So please sign up today at janesselston.com or at uh, campwella.com. And the next announcement, or go ahead. There was such a great variety of amazing people at that camp. That was the such most fun part. Wonderful. And, oh my gosh, we did such fun things. I couldn't believe some of the things we did that I couldn't believe what fun it was. Oh, activities that way. And, and we will do, a, we have a big demo we're gonna do. Um, Hands-on fun demo. And another announcement is, um, in March, on March 7th, is the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease and Cancer for Women Conference here in Cleveland, Ohio at the Cleveland Clinic Wellness Institute. Dr. Christy Funk will be there. Uh, she's from, coming from California and she's a breast cancer surgeon and researcher, so exciting. And Colin Campbell will be there. Well, and and, and my husband. Oh, you forgot. I never forget Daddy, he's and, the keynote speaker, but he's always and there. And to have both Colin and my yes. husband on the same program is so exciting because they are such um they're the originals originals they're the originals, originals. Yeah. and and the last announcement i want to make is that i'm sure you've noticed this lovely shirt i'm wearing it is a limited edition t-shirt and it says this is a lemon and it says acid queen it is in honor of my mom and the influence she's had on all of us and all of our food with but, her acidic tendencies. But, well, it hasn't caught on to all of you exactly, but what it did is it caught on enough that our granddaughter, Kryle, designed she's, it. She's yeah, a great designed artist. Designed the t-shirt. 
And uh, we also have some other limited edition things on the, on the website, which... Um, oh, my gosh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen that you've got. I love, I love it. Yeah. I wish it fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, onesie. Actually, onesies are coming back into uh, style. This is November 2019. Too small. In case this... It's, um, this is for a 12-month-old. And we also have um, a limited edition of our Enjoy Kale t-shirts. So please go to janeusselston.com. Uh, to find some t-shirts today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. They're in this nice pasta pot, so I can just... Ooh. Over here where you can't see, I'm draining them, and then I am going to put them into my big bowl. Jane has a nice glass bowl. There they go. And then comes the fun. But this is the problem, Jane. Yeah. I like to get leverage. So when I mash from here, oh. I don't get the nice leverage I like. So it's really good. Thank you. The purple stool. Go and go. And now you see I can really mash these potatoes <laughs> nicely. And all right, while she's mashing her potatoes. Jane, while you're mashing, would you get a couple of cloves of garlic? And oh. I have a garlic press. Oh. When I put them in, I like to have it them in the How press. How many cloves do you like? One or two, depending on your taste. And when, if you put it in hot, it kind of is nice. Yeah, it cooks now, in. It's, oh. I am going to add some almond milk. This is the 365 unsweetened almond or you can use the Pacific, or uh, soy milk would be great. Oh, there's a new kind of, of oh, is it almond milk? It's the almond, milk. it's called Oatly, and it's only the white container. But that, again, I, I think oats have are a little sweet, so I think oat milk is not always the best choice. Yeah, I think it, takes, it makes it taste a little bit vanilla-y. It tastes a little sweet. All right, I put so, two in, and they were regular size. Do you want more, or are you good? Two is good. Say, those are for something else. Okay. Um, all right, this looking pretty nice, but now, now comes. Stand up, you look, how, what, wait. Well, I don't, I, I'm afraid I'm too tall when I'm on the top of the stool. But now yeah. comes the, the, the trick, and that is per potato, I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So I have six potatoes here. Ish, so I am going to put... she tasted a lot of them. No, I only tasted one. And now I've lost how many? <laughs> but I think that's six. If it's too much, it's, not, it's fine. Now, the thing about nutritional yeast is that it kind of makes the potatoes dry. Jane, we need pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Three, five, ho, oh, And again, pepper is a little individual. I love individual, my pepper grinder. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to add more. Yeah, they're black peppers. At one point, I put in multicolored peppers in here, the like pink and white and stuff. But these are these are black. We've ground through. All and you that. know, if you feel that you've gotten your potatoes too wet, you'll be surprised they they they, they sort of stiffen up. So you can and if they do stiffen up, just add any other, any liquid, anything. Sometimes, if I don't have an alternative milk, I just use the potato water. Jane saw it's a little hard. How much do you want? How much do you want? I just, water just for some reason. I put in a half a teaspoon or so that's gonna be about I don't know, we'll think four or five grinds. Okay. And there, also in the recipe we have a, a one teaspoon of dried rosemary. So I'm gonna find that. Oh, another a really important trick. Don't try and make your mashed potatoes in a blender, because they it turns to oh. glue. So you really Crazy. need to, to do this. And if you don't have a masher like I do, you could use a fork. I mean, you could use your hands. Um, I've never Some tried my them, hands. No, the ricer? Some people have the... Oh, yeah, yeah. The people love the potato ricers. I've tried it. But I just like the simplicity of this. All right, one teaspoon of Ooh. crushed rosemary. And, and I like your crushed rosemary. Then you don't get the big twigs in your, in your teeth. Too. So here we are with our mashed potatoes, and oh, there is nothing as good as these mashed potatoes with our mushroom gravy. And we did do a, 
Yeah, I think we have a video on that. Um, we'll uh, maybe post a link to that um, so you can pair them up because tasting these alone sometimes, I'm like, ah, oh, these are a little, uh, and mom says, Jane, stop. We always have this with, and cranberry, our mushroom gravy and our cranberry, which was our previous video, I believe. And um, this is really just the centerpiece of our Thanksgiving along with our stuffing. So there are 42 of us for Thanksgiving and we're making mashed potatoes and mushroom gravy. And I'm sort of tempted, to, I think maybe, would these last till Thanksgiving? I could sort of maybe Put add these to because we're going to need an You're awful lot. We're going to eat them all. We're going to eat them all. We're going to eat a lot eat, we're gonna eat them all of mashed right. potatoes. Okay, here. Mm. Okay. Well, hope you have. Oh, I just put a big pepper thing there. Is that right? Mm. <laughs> well, I ho hope you have wonderful mashed I potatoes. I love mashed potatoes at your Thanksgiving table oh, as well. I forgot, Jane. One what? thing. What's well, absolutely so much fun is if you have any leftover mashed potatoes, add some some um, flaxseed meal and mix it up and make oh. them into little potato pancakes. Yes. Put them in a nonstick pan. That is probably helpful. And then don't turn them over until they've been a long time cooking because they'll sort of coagulate. But they're beautiful. And you can eat them with salsa or just plain. But that's really fun. In fact, that's almost worth it to make a whole thing of mashed potatoes. To Coagulate is not really a delicious word to use about food, but oh. it, yeah, they do. They they get they get so nice and um, perfect, perfect pancake-like. Have a great Thanksgiving. Fill it with mashed potatoes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.